Wow, I look like a hot mess. I'm gonna take this hair out. Um, I kind of look like a dinosaur. It's just easier to sleep with my hair in a plait, you know? So, as you can tell by the title, wow, and my appearance, I'm not actually ready yet. Today's video is gonna be a get ready with me, kind of just a little chill, chatty, makeup, routine type thing. Today's video is partly in collaboration with Nubian Beauty. I've got some products that I want to share with you guys and test out. I also have a discount code with them which is Fern15. I'll get you 15% off on the website. I will leave the links to Nubian Beauty down in the description. They have loads of really cool exciting products on there. Lots of different stuff. I have worked with them in the past. Um, I'm pretty sure on another makeup video I had some lashes and I think like a lip gloss from them So if I can find that video I will link that down below as well if you are interested It was quite a while ago Before we jump in please make sure you are subscribed to my channel And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy And don't forget to turn the notification bell on if you miss my uploads or it doesn't notify you um, And click it to all so you'll get notified like whenever I upload any kind of video that would be Great, so this is the little package that I received from Nubian. It just says beauty style and love, beauty through nature, and then they've got their little logo at the bottom there. So they've sent out just a couple of bits for me to try and test and share my thoughts with you guys. So what I think I'm going to use first is this product called Lip Filler. Lip Filler? File? How would you pronounce that with a thing on the end? basically this is a fairly new product that they have released so it's a powerful volumizing lip plumping elixir to amplify the volume of your lips natural ingredients so cinnamon reishi mushroom and aha boost your natural lip color plumpness and fullness keeping them supple moist and healthy so it does say it's quite effective so use a small amount at first then build it up for more of a desired result if you need to and then I've got a lip product to use afterwards. So I think I'm gonna use this first to see how it goes because if you watched one of my recent vlogs of the past few weeks, you'll know that I've got the tiny last bit of my filler dissolved in my lips. So I've got nothing in my lips at the moment. It all went fine, absolutely brill. But I am actually getting a little bit of filler put back in my lips next week or the week after i think which is exciting but not necessary it's just something that i want um like i explained in the video i think i had a bit of migration where the filler was coming out of my lip border and i think i'm gonna go to someone new um and just see if that makes any difference um just because i don't know my lips just don't feel full i feel like i just want something a little bit more like my lips aren't necessarily small but just doing it for me but in the meantime, if you guys do not want filler, that is absolutely fine. I'm not saying go and get it because you don't need it. But there are products that can subtly enhance your lips like this one. So it comes in a little pot. So it's a really cute little box. Um, and then it has this pot. So I think I just take it. So it's like a balm. If It's like a little balm. Okay, I hope that wasn't too much. I can already feel it. Look, the taste. It hasn't started to tingle just yet, but I can taste it, I suppose. The cinnamon, lemongrass, that mushroom, mango butter, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, candel candelia, wax, castor oil, menthol, and AHA fruit extract. So it's going to be like the menthol stuff and maybe something to do with the mushroom that's obviously going to tingle um, and help to plump and then I can definitely taste that lemongrass and cinnamon. I'm actually going to put the serum on as well. So they've also sent over a fairly new, well I think it's a serum but they call it an elixir. So it's the Nubian Butox Skin Beautifying Elixir. So they've put a little cute bow on it which is really really cute. Um, this is just what like all sides of the box looks like but this just says you want super glowy plump and lifted dewy skin try nubian butox skin serum our vegan alternative it's packed with powerful adaptogen amino complexes wow these are big words <laughs> uh niacinamide 
Skin enhancing natural ingredients including rose hip, aloe vera, seaweed, melon, green tea and reishi, reishi mushroom extracts plus hyalur hyaluronic acid. Skin is visibly lifted, resurfaced and brightened. So this is what this little bottle looks like. How cute. I'm really scared. Ah, okay. So just a, a little bit. Feels fine, can't feel anything just yet. Feels really fresh, a little bit red, but that's fine. I'm just gonna wipe me fingers. I don't know whether you'll be able to tell like a huge difference with the serum, like it dries down. It's not a greasy, it's not too oily. It like sinks into the skin. My skin looks very kind of healthy though and like glowy it doesn't look dried out obviously i haven't put my moisturizer and stuff on yet but this is just a bit of this serum but it feels really nice i don't have much of a tingle maybe it's not started yet it does feel very fresh though but we're gonna jump right into the rest of the video i've got like all of my makeup bits just sat here i'm not gonna talk too much about them and um, but we'll link everything that i can in the description and i will just tell you guys what i'm using as i go so obviously I'm just going to start with a moisturiser right after my serum as that is all dried. And this is something that I got from one of my glossy boxes and it's the Avant Hyaluronic Vitamin C uh, Supreme Hyaluronic Acid Duo Moisturiser, a little 50ml. This stuff is lovely but the Avant skincare range is quite pricey. Um, so if you are looking to invest in something then I do recommend this feels really nice and like hydrating and refreshing on the skin and then I'm gonna use a primer um, I don't always use a primer but I really like the benefit hydrating professional primer just because it's got hyaluronic and sheer hyaluronic acid and sheer butter in it so it just adds more hydration to my skin my skin is fairly normal so I don't always need to use like really hydrating products but if you've got dry skin please 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 make sure you are using the right products for you a good cleanser that's not going to dry your skin out you don't want any kind of serums that are for different skin types so do your research and find the best products for your skin type so i think i'm actually going to do my eyes first because i want to just do like a smoky kind of cat's wing type look um, and then if i need to clean it up with the wet wipe then i will I'm just gonna prep my lids with a bit of concealer. This is just the collection, Last Imperfection. This is actually the old packaging. Considering it's a really affordable concealer and it's not a massive tube, because I don't use the same one every day, it lasts me quite a while. Ooh, I think I'm done. I'm just gonna set that with a bit of my Charlotte Tilbury powder. So it doesn't, just so it doesn't go anywhere, I use the shade 2 medium. I might actually do my brows as well because I've not really been doing my brows like I used to. I've plucked them to kind of be a bit more straight I suppose. It's kind of just, I don't know, a lot of people have been doing it and I think it lifts my face a lot more. So my arch used to be really high and then like my brow would come all the way back down. Whereas now I just try and keep it a little bit more like subtle and a bit more straight and lift the tails um, and of course I'm using my Precisely pencil by Benefit in 3.5 so I'm just going to quickly do my brows. I think I'm going to do this off camera because it does take me uh, a good five minutes or so. I'm also going to use a bit of the Gimme Brow Lightly Through It. This is in shade four and then I've got whoa, the 24 hour brow setter as well which is a clear brow gel to keep them in place. For eyeshadow, I don't really know which palette to use. These are like two of my favourites at the moment. So both of these actually came in glossy boxes. This was uh, number 24 or 25 in the glossy box advent calendar. It's the iconic London Day to Slay eyeshadow palette, which is absolutely beautiful. So I love all of like the warm brown tones in this. And then this palette actually really surprised me. Like I've never tried anything from this brand before. But they are so pigmented and 
just gorgeous colours, but it's an LA Splash Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. Um, I don't think it's got a name, it just says eyeshadow palettes. This is what it looks like. I love the packaging. And then that's what the inside looks like. So definitely use the black and one of the browns from in there. Okay, so I don't know whether you can kind of tell, it's really, really messy, but I've just kind of done a light brown through my crease and darkened it with a bit of a darker brown and a tiny bit of black. I'm just going to clean that up. And then I'm going to add a tiny bit of my brown eyeliner to the outer side as well. Just put a little bit of eyeliner on. I don't know whether this is going to look really silly, um, but I'm just going to pop my lashes on. These are really cheap ones from eBay. Um, I don't know how well they're going to look, but they're just kind of like fluffy cat eye. They're not as kind of cat eye as I'd like for this look, but it will do for now. I've just popped my lashes on. They're just kind of drying, um, but I'm just going to start on skin. What I'm going to use is, you've seen me use this probably plenty of times, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in shade 4 Medium. I love this stuff. This is one of my favourite brushes, so I need to get another one. My Beauty Bay brushes are actually really nice. Lovely jubbly. And then for foundation, I usually would have used the NARS, but I thought, go back to another one that I really, really liked, the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick in Warm Ivory. I love this foundation. Do some lovely stripes all over my face. If you guys can recommend a foundation that you really like, I've tried quite a few. I don't really need a new one at the moment, but I just want some like in mind for when these are running low. So I really, really like the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. The Hourglass ah, Foundation Stick. Um, I've tried the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, which was nice. I've got the NARS Can't Stop, Won't Stop. And someone has recommended the Born to Glow, which I haven't tried yet. Because I don't like a really full coverage matte. I like something that you can build up to be full. But more of like either a demi matte or like a satin finish. This stick is just beautiful though. Expensive but still really nice. So now I'm just going to pop a little bit of concealer under my eyes. Um, using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Uh, just because this is still a little bit light. I really like this shade. It's like... Nice and like yellowy. This is in the shade 20. Doesn't have a name, just says 20 on the lid. Um, but for when I've got a bit of tan on, it's still a nice light shade for that. And then set it with the YSL Souffle de Clas, I think I would say it, the translucent setting powder. Just like the centre of my face. Where I'm a little bit too shiny. I think I had a few questions from an Instagram story I did not too long ago. Let me go see if I can answer those for you. So someone had asked, have you ever had your heart broken? Um, I don't think so. Not like, really. Um, before my partner now, I had one of the boyfriend that I was with for like a year and a half um we were really young like 17 18 so it was kind of like our first proper relationship he was a bit of a knob towards the end like we just 
looking back now obviously we were not right for each other at all because it was things that like we disliked about each other and I disliked about him and I suppose in a sense it was like wanted to change him um, and I don't really think you should necessarily want to change someone if that's who they are then you need to accept that and it just wasn't working and obviously we were really really young but he just ended up being a bit of a knob um and we split uh then kind of like started speaking again because he begged for me back and then he kind of split up again and i was just like right, okay i'm done now fuck you so i wouldn't say my heart broken but at the time it literally felt like my world had shattered around me and i think it's always going to feel like that when a relationship ends because that person has been the other half for however long um so in a sense like it felt like my heart was broken and i was really really sad for quite a while um but i was young um naive you know didn't really no. Someone else said, what is your most common compliment that you get? Which is quite nice to think about, I suppose. Um, hmm. Obviously with like all of my Instagram posts, there's a lot of people that I engage with and we just support each other on our content. So I'm, I'm giving a lot of compliments on people's photos. I'm getting compliments back. Oh, I forgot to use my cream bronzer. Oh well. Um, I get compliments on my brows, um, especially in work, because I work for Benefit at the moment, and I have a brow bar, so I wax and tint people's eyebrows. So whenever I'm doing that, and we're talking about like brows and makeup and stuff, I tend to get compliments on my eyebrows. I think that's always been one thing about my makeup, even though my brows, when I was younger, used to be like awful, people would still compliment them, because I suppose they were never like thin, they were never too thick. And then the more I've got older, I've just kind of always taking care of my brows <laughs> um i'm using the nars laguna bronzer on a fluffy brush um what else do i get compliments on what loads i don't tend to get like random compliments a lot of the time my outfits um the past few years obviously or especially the past year i've got a lot more into like fashion and street style and like kind of what's on trend um and i know like what i'm wearing more i'm more confident and wear things that maybe other people wouldn't uh, my hair with extensions in even though i really need to get it done i've had a lot of people say that they didn't even realize i had extensions in which is what we all want to hear i wish my hair was like this naturally someone else asked or assumed you earn more a month from youtube and instagram than you do your full-time job not at all um, I work full time, so you know I'm earning a full time wage. So I get over a thousand pound a month, which I thought would have been like kind of middle ground. Like I wish I earned like two grand a month, but God, no. Just in my job, um, I earn just normal kind of money from that. Not really a lot, but that is for my full-time job and then from instagram and youtube it's definitely slowly building up but i wouldn't say i earn a lot at all i don't do as many kind of sponsored stuff because i've still got a smaller following and a lot of people say like you should still charge because you're creating content but with some brands i do work with um with a lot of it is on like a gifted basis because i'm happy to do that at the moment but i think if i was uploading more regularly even though i have been trying more throughout this year to like keep uploading and i'd like to think i've done a good job um i've not really missed much time kind of uploading content but um i don't really know what i'd say i get a month it's not a lot at all um you know there's people that earn thousands and i'm just like whoa please could that be me you know that's something that i've wished for since i was really really young but i'm just not in the position to be able to do that i can't just leave my full-time job i have bills to pay and what i'm kind of taking home at the moment just isn't enough to cover bills um let alone then save and be able to spend money so maybe like 100 pound 200 pound depending on like what work i've done for the month I, it like really changes like there's probably a month where i could earn like 40 pounds so not a lot at all. I'm using the Benefit Georgia blusher on just a duo fibre brush. 
this smells so good and it's got a really lovely glow to it as well if you haven't tried benefit blushes or obviously the hula bronzer is like something most people would have tried go and try them the georgia the gold rush and the rocketeur blushes are my fave i'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter i'm gonna use the l'oreal crushed foil metallic highlighter in rose quartz i don't use this one that often but i have started to hit pan it's really really creamy it's like a rose gold i think we are at a good stage i'm just gonna pop a tiny bit of eyeshadow under my lower lash line oh the mascara i use i don't think i said is the benefit roller lash my favorite at the moment i think most of my skin is done so i'm gonna just line my lips well overline my lips a little bit i think with cork which is quite dark but I don't know what colour lipstick I got in there. So again, this is from Nubian. This is part of their Super Nudes range. Um, and I think this helps to plump as well. Yeah, powerful volumising matte lipstick to amplify the volume of your lips. Again, similar ingredients to the other products. And the colours were quite hard to choose. I'm not sure whether this is really like my type of colour. I think it's more orangey. But it looked nude on the website so that's kind of my fault but the packaging is really really cute and then this is what the lipstick looks like so i think i'm gonna put a gloss over the top anyway but i'm gonna line my lips with cork which is quite a dark brown we should see what this lipstick looks like oh that's not the color i was expecting but it's very creamy not really my kind of color but it's not bad like i think it looks quite nice so hopefully i can jump on there and get a different color but this is in nude 08 smooth that color i just used so it's quite like a i don't know like a corally nude type color i mean i kind of look quite festive especially with my tree how cute is that if you saw my decorating house for christmas vlog you would have seen it it's from matalan and then i've got my really cute designer print up there um, if you do watch my videos though and you did see that, let me know if you picked anything up from Desenia with my discount code. That is me finished. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me do my makeup and just have a little chat. And let me know if you're intrigued by these Nubian products because I definitely am. And I want to go on the website and see kind of what else they've got if I want to try anything and purchase a few more things. If you want to see another video with their products, let me know in the comments. Like I said, I will link everything down below. If you do want to have a little browse and shop anything, don't forget to use my discount code FERN15 for discount on the website. Um, and thank you to Nubian for sponsoring part of this video. Really appreciate it. Love you guys so much. But that is all from me. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you give a big thumbs up. And please subscribe and turn the notification bell on before you head off. There'll probably be some more videos on my end card if you are interested in watching any more of my content. But for now, I will say goodbye. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.